Good morning and welcome to another lovely edition of the newspaper review here on Quest today. Today is the first day in the month of October. Yes, a Tuesday morning here. A wet Tuesday if you if I for my art because right now it's raining here in Ugeli. But with that being said, it is now time for us to look into the headlines making the rounds on the dailies. My name is Erika Mimariam and welcome to the newspaper review here on Quest. Making a return back to the studios this morning, we have five newspapers. We have the Nation newspaper, we have the Daily Trust, the Vanguard, the Nigerian Tribune, as well as the Punch newspaper. And you know it's always, always a full house here in the studios. I have my colleague, the president of Alex Obunaya, and, uh, well, I, I don't know if I should say he's the second or the last of the musketeers, <laughs> but I do know that he refused to get ordained, and uh, I'm, I'm not throwing shots, but yes, he's here yeah, in the studio this morning. It's called Efe Odomo. <laughs> are we the three musketeers now, or I don't, I don't understand? We are two and a half musketeers. So, who is the half? Two of us are the full musketeers. Oh, really? I like that. That's a good one. Oh, well, before men, they were gods, so I'd put it that way. But before we go into all of that and start arguing with the gods and who the men are uh, here in the studios, let's head straight into the papers. And the first paper for review this morning will be The Nation. And on the front page of The Nation newspaper this morning, the major headline reads, Rivers quakes as governor gets impeachment notice. Things are happening right now in River State. A lot of things happening right now. We all know what's going on. But let's get more of this for those who don't. Uh, the writer that says assembly splits into two and faction sacks uh, CJ. And also Fubara fires weakest loyalists, says I can't be impeached. A major one there on the front page of the nation. But I believe this is making rounds on all the dailies this morning as well. Get more of this on page four of the nation newspaper. Moving above the masthead, FEC okays 2.17 trillion naira 2023 supplementary budget. Uh, says uh, 5.9 billion naira for FCT roads. More details on that on page 6. Nigeria and Germany signed $700 billion solid uh, minerals exploration pacts. Uh, you can get more details on that on page 4. But moving on, we have 50 decomposing and 29 headless bodies found in cattle market yes if you're following this story on the social media spaces a gruesome one indeed but uh, like i said get more details on that on page 29. moving on we have u.s court declines request seeking release of tunable's fbi records uh more details on that on page five and also article slam supreme court over election verdict apc says he is delusional well more details on that on page two after reading on the front page of the nation newspaper Saudi hospital to separate Kanuko joint twins is making it to page six. Uh, wish them success in that. And also Ayedatua back in court is making it to page 29 of the nation. For the picture of the day, we see the headline there say CNG buses will revolutionize transport sector. Uh, get more details on that on page 29. And that's much we can take on the front page of the nation. Over to you, Alex. Okay, let's look at the punch newspaper. The lead story on the front page is a fallout from Atiko Bubaka's um, press conference on Monday with APC responding. The lead story, retire now, presidency tells Atiku, ex-VP rubbishes Supreme Court judgment. It comes with the riders. Apex Court legitimizes illegality. Atiku insists, urges INEC to verify credentials. Atiku's presidential ambition doomed. Ex-VP desperate, says APC presidency. Mm. Moving on, reverse assembly in crisis as weak as loyalists move to impeach Fubara. You can read up that story on page two of the Punch newspaper. Ohaneze Soludo mourn as legal icon Wambweze dies at 94. That's also uh, on page 15. Taraba governor mourns 100 boat accident victims, others probe. You can read up that story on page 8. Above the masthead of the Punch newspaper, Tinubu canvasses 2 trillion Naira Disco's recapitalization tariff review. And uh, close to that story comes this one. Federal government approves 2.2 trillion Naira supplementary budget and um, 70 corpses, skeletons uncovered near Abia cattle market. That's according to the governor of the state, Alex Oti. You can read up that story on page 7. And that story is really causing um, this thing. Uh, it's, it's really trending somewhere. And um, 
Okay, I think that's that from the Punch newspaper. Over to you, Miriam. Okay, the next paper for review is the Daily Trust. And on the front page of the Daily Trust newspaper, it says, Seven weeks after Tunibu's visit, Nigeria and UAE roll lingers. The writer that says, uh, Nigerians in UAE cry out over work permits and visa ban. Federal government working to resolve the issue, says an official. And also, they cry slow pace in resolving diplomatic row. More details on that on page four. Moving now above the leading story, we have impeachment plots. PDP governors meet today to save Rivers Governor. More details on that on page 11. 90 million Nigerians lack access to electricity, says the president. Quite an interesting uh, one there. We'll get more details on that on page 19. 20 fear dead in Cross River and, uh, and Benway communities uh, disp boundary disputes. It's also making it there on the front page, but you can get more details on that on page 25. FEC approves 2.18 trillion Naira 2023 supplementary budget is making it to page 4. On a stable exchange rate forces imports down by 65% in third quarter. Uh, more details on that on page 20. Moving on, we have terrible boat accidents. 17 bodies recovered and 12 rescued. A sad one there indeed. Uh, but you can get more details on that on page 5. Tinubu and Atiku continue feud after Supreme Court verdict. The writer that says uh, judgment mandates judgment mandates bandit robbery is a statement from the ex-VP. And also your inordinate ambition doomed, says the presidency. More details on that uh, on page 6. And well, that's much we can take on the front page of the Daily Trust. Over to you, Alex. And finally, from me, the Nigeria Tribune. The lead story is fittingly... Uh, fits what's happening in River State. Tribune captions it, mayhem in rivers. Uh, you can see pictures of the House of Assembly up in flames and the picture of the two uh, suspects, <laughs> Fubara and um, his uh, predecessor, Yensam Wike. Police arrest two people for setting school property ablaze. You can read up that story on page 25. 70 bodies found in Abia community. That's on page 28. History will vindicate me over Supreme Court judgment. A tico that um, uh, you can get that story on page 17. And it comes with rider struggle for democracy should not be led by younger generations. He says advocate six-year single tenor rotational presidency to prevent regional gang up mm. okay uh, that's another topic for another day a lot of things to court a suit filed by all your kingmakers against mackinday today aida tiwa's apology can't stop his impeachment process on those speaker and how se seniority arrangement stalled appointment of new Supreme Court justices. You can read up that story on page four of the Nigeria Tribune uh, newspaper. And a picture of the day is, of course, where else but River State. Here we can see the House of Assembly in River State up in flames. And um, in front of, uh, outside the, the House of Assembly, you see crowd of people, probably supporters of um, Fubara, protesting against the planned impeachment. That's that from the Tribune. Over to you, Miriam. All right, the final paper for review this morning will be the Vanguard newspaper. And the major headline there says, Chaos erupts in rivers. Yes, uh, the, writer, uh, the writers there says, Hoodlums bomb and bond states assembly. 24 legislators sign impeachment notices against Governor Fubara. 26 lawmakers suspend Speaker and three others and install Edison. Go to court, new Speaker tells aggrieved lawmakers. At John's house, sign dying. And also security operators shot directly at mean it's a statement from governor fubara uh, challenges 24 legislators to list his offense and condemns the burning of the assembly police command launches investigation and pdp governor summon emergency meeting today more details on that uh, page five but don't don't worry we're going to give you more updates as it goes on but moving away from that we have fec approves uh 2.17 trillion 2023 supplementary budget uh is making a round on all the dailies also election Electricity sector privatization has failed. Federal government admits. Yes, more details on that on page 7. Moving to autonomy, it says Oyo, Edo, Kanu, Ogun, and Ondo assembly workers begin indefinite strike. You want to get more details on that? Go to page 7. And on page 11 of the Vanguard, it says Tribute as elder statesman Unwabuize dies at the age of 94. That means he's so rest in peace.
peace. Um, moving on, we have Supreme Court verdict struggle continues as long as I breathe, says Atikum. And uh, the writer that says Nigeria better than your selfish ambition, presidency, and APC tell XVP. But you can get more details on that on page nine. Protest rock just over alleged conflicting tribunal judgment is making it to page 21. And on sports, Messi wins eight ballon d'or. Yes, more get more details on that on page 31. But you know, we can round things up here without going to the Mr. and Mrs. column. Uh, but before I move to that, let's just talk about a picture of the day. We can see the mayhem that occurred in rivers. You can see the burnt sections of the river state house of, of assembly and others there. And uh, that tallies with the major headline there, which is... Uh, uh, chaos erupts in rivers. We'll get more details on that on page five. And now on to the Mr. and Mrs. Column. Mr. is speaking. Well, for the first time, Mr. is speaking up first. Yes, I say it's rice and vegetable. I have been fed with vegetables in the last three weeks. I'm not eating this. I am not a vegetarian. And then the wife now replies, Look at the time you're com you came home and still complaining about food. If you don't eat it as a vegetarian, you will go to bed as a Hungarian. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Those counting yes. uh, mice and rats by night is a very difficult Very, very. Easy. Well, at this point, we've taken out the headlines on the front pages of all the dailies we mentioned earlier, which is The Nation, The Daily Trust, The Vanguard Newspaper, The Nigerian Tribune, as well as The Punch Newspaper. And it is now time for you to call into the show and have your say but you know sticking to the headlines making the rounds you know while talking here on quest uh quest today remember to you know go calmly with your words because we know some of the headlines can be infuriating so please be careful of what you say here on tv and the numbers are there on your screen for those on radios the number remains the same zero eight one double eight triple eight nine three one and zero zero double two nine three one nine three one with that being said let's have our first call for the day. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Oh, but probably, Alex, you need to start this off uh, with the phone lines. So let's, let's see if your touch will work on that. <laughs> yeah, you're that. <laughs> okay, you've been told the numbers, so keep the calls coming. Mm. And um, of course, um, like she said, keep your comments very civil. Do not um, say anything that we may need or force us to yank mm. you off. Okay, if, 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 what if we if we, why we wait for the call, what would we involve um, Comrade Modern or mm. Comrade Odoma? I beg, I beg yeah, to mother my okay. Mother okay. Mother your name. So <laughs> the two, <laughs> the, the half men. Uh, no, the we say no, <laughs> yes, no. yes, we are even trying to borrow you into our midst. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. okay. Well, With that being said, let's look at the major story making yeah. rounds on the dailies, and it is whatever it is that is going on right now in River State. There are people who don't even understand what is going on right now. So, Comrade, please. Put us through. What is currently going on right now in River State? It's a mayhem. I suppose we'll call it a brouhaha because you know Nigerians would like to use big English and uh, somebody said if he speaks any English now that is not in the dictionary, go and check the next edition, the English will be there. Is it, was it uh, about a week or two now that a uh, weekend visited River State mm. when he went on a, a commissioning of a project in the university? And right there he was lambasting the university authority and the government of the day. You see? You don't, we don't continue to live in the past. You have been a governor in that place. You have done your own. You've left your mark. Don't come back and start asking for the court anymore. Allow the new man there to be doing his job. Because if when he was there, if the former governor was teleguiding him, I don't think he would have accepted it. Mm -hmm. Only yesterday, uh, the elder statesman in Niger Delta here, and uh, one of the foremost uh, elderly, elderly in the, the country, that's uh, E.K. Clark, was very tough on the uh, wiki. That we get you allow this man to do his job. Hmm. If you have a if you have a suggestion and you put it across to the man, if the man feels that it's not going to help his government, it's not your duty to force it on him. You see, we the, the, the man has done his duty, he has gone, allow the next person. But that, that is how democracy grows. Otherwise, we will not continue to have a godfather and godfatherism is not helping the nation at all. Hmm. Now some groups are impeaching the, 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 the governor, some groups are impeaching the speaker that is impeaching the governor. Hmm. So there is chaos everywhere. Nobody knows actually where the pendulum is swinging up to now. But uh, the, the governor has gone ahead to suspend those principal officers that were responsible for that uh, scenario. And uh, when I watched this yesterday on TV, where the police were tear gassing and using water can on the whole governor, an elected governor representing the good people, the bad and the ugly of it. It's an absurd. It's not supposed to be at all. Mm -hmm. We should not take loss into our hands because we are playing uh, the cat of uh, somebody up there. Mm -hmm. Nobody stays in the position forever. Okay. Well, over to you, Alex. 
Uh, let's go to Abia State, where the governor there made a revelation, and it is still, you know, causing ripples. Seventy corpses, in among them, twenty headless corpses found in a cattle market. I'm not, I'm not surprised. If you see the spate of a kidnapping and killing, both for ritual and for political purpose, you will say that figure is not actually too high. Though it is very, very unfortunate mm. that we, in the present world we are living in this type of uh, dark era where people are killed without a recourse, where human life has no longer, no longer has value to anything. Even some animals have more values than humans these days in, in terms of uh, the way we kill. Robbery here, cult activities there, different um, militia groups springing up here and there. The government is fighting there. They are fighting the government. People are getting missing every day. There is no day you tune to any station or you read any newspaper, whether the social uh, media, that you will not see quantum of uh, people that are missing, untraceable. And uh, those who are responsible for this act, well, I believe that uh, we now have a, a sin physically living on it. You know what is called sin? Sin is a certain incarnate natural. Otherwise, a normal human being cannot do what those boys are doing. Well, coming at this point, we have to put a call to what you say because we have to try and take calls. And let's see if I have a caller right now. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay. Hello, hello, good morning. Sure. All right, while we wait for those calls to come through, we apologize for any form of inconvenience if you're not able to reach us. But yes, we will still be here on the uh, big or the other the paper review on, on the quest today. And uh, we still have time, so try to see if your calls uh, can connect through. But with that being said, comrade, mm -hmm. on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper, it says electricity sector privatization has failed, the federal government has admitted. What's your take on this? I don't even think it, it was ever privatized. You don't think it was privatized I, at I any point? I don't think it was privatized. If you privatize it and the government is still dictating the tune, what is the privatization there? Mm. The billing is still being controlled by the federal government. The rates of uh, increase and every uh, is still being privatized by the federal government. The federal government is still making laws for them. So in what way was it privatized? Mm. If it was privatized, they should have handed off the whole uh, scenario. Because the government brought a legislation that even if you have light, whether well, it's even uh, five or eight hours in a, in a month, you should be deemed to have been given light that you should not protest. Hmm. If they have privatized, they allow the private people to run it. Even they, if they want to increase the tariff and let us have the light, nobody will complain. If I have light for 24 hours in a day, uh, 20, uh, even 20 hours in a day, and you ask me to pay even 20, 25,000 in a month, I will gladly pay it. But you don't have light at times more than uh, two, three hours in a whole month, even some of them three months in my place where I come from. Two years running now, with six months on top of it, the NEPA has not blinked. And we call it uninterrupted power darkness. Then we are saying that you are privatized. When they now went for a, a meeting with uh, the BDEC, you know what BDEC told them? BDEC said, they were, whether one or something million, they should go and pay that money. What are the electronic, what are the gadgets we are using in my area that will warrant that type of debt? And they refuse to restore light to us to use it. I'm from Isoko, from a new community, for, 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 for goodness sake. Tell me the consumption rate of that area that you are giving that be, and they are having government backing. So when they say privatization has failed, I don't know where and where it was privatized at all. It was on paper, never in the physical. Hmm. Oh, well, Comrade, you have spoken well today, but we have come to the end of the newspaper review here on the quest today. We have to go to allow the big story coming. But Comrade, thank you mm -hmm. very much for coming on air. I do ha hope to have you tomorrow as usual. But maybe by tomorrow we'll have a good musketeer in there. Maybe. Let's hope so. But with that being said, thank you very much all dear viewers and listeners for sticking with the paper review. We're quite sorry the phone lines weren't connecting. I will try to do better to improve the situation. And also thank you Vanguard Newspaper for sp sponsoring the paper review here on Quest today. Yeah, but from myself and from my crew, bye for now and have yourself a lovely, lovely Tuesday.